Bora! Hi, and welcome to the first episode of Front Central 2019-2020 school year. I'm Gojean Swartz. And I'm Rebecca Bella. Today we'll be covering the Dig Pink volleyball game and introduce you to a brand new teacher here at CHS. We'll also have coverage of the Trojan Soccer District Finals against West, then take a walk down to the F Building to see a Michigan Supreme Court hearing that took place in our very own auditorium. Spooky season is upon us, and you know what that means. Our Traverse City Central Senate is putting on their 7th Annual Haunted House. It will be next Tuesday at 7 p.m. The entrance of the Haunted House this year is at the auditorium. Tickets are $3. See you all there. As many of you know, our volleyball team played Cadillac here on Wednesday, but this game had little more meaning than the other ones. It was the Lady Trojans Pink Out game to support breast cancer awareness. Pink Game is a game to help raise awareness about breast cancer um, during Breast Cancer Awareness Month. The, all the proceeds go to an anonymous donor. So you can get a pink volleyball and you write somebody's name who you've lost cancer. And uh, also during before the game you can bid on players. So however many kills, like every kill somebody gets, you pay $5. You can do that. See, I think we're doing a lot more. We got new pink jerseys. Selling t-shirts. Selling t-shirts. Everyone buy your t-shirts. Um, we're just doing a lot more this year because it's become more of an issue. In the yeah. Either teams, like we're bat like going against Cadillac, I think it's nice to see the community from both sides come together for a good cause. It was great for our Trojan volleyball team to put together such a nice event to show their support for breast cancer awareness. Yeah, it was. Tomorrow we have another pink out game, also against Cadillac. Football will be at Thurlby tomorrow at 1 for their senior night. We hope to see you there to support the team. Yeah, it's good to know the Trojans are making a difference. Hey Becca, is it just me or is there a new face in the hallway of C Building? Yes, if you haven't noticed, Central has a new math teacher this year. Front and Central's Sarah McMiniman has the scoop. Hi, I'm Sarah McMenamin reporting to Front Central. There are lots of new things at Central this year. New desks, new chairs, new window signs, and four new staff members, including Mr. Hall. Teach Algebra 1 and AP Stats. I always loved math in high school. I love school too, so um, I didn't want, I knew I didn't want to be like a sitting at a desk nine to five so I like being I like being in school where it keeps me up every day is different um, and I love hanging out with all the students and things like that and helping them out. Mr. Hall really likes to bond with the students and he creates a genuine friendship with them and he enjoys like helping people and talking to us. He tells people a lot about his personal life, his students and he, like he actually wants to connect with them on a personal level and it makes him a really good teacher. Keep being you, man. Uh, he's all about the comedy. There is a process to hiring a new teacher at Central. Mr. Holden was part of it. Um, and I've always been impressed with how smart he is and how passionate he is about math. Um, and I knew when we interviewed him he was going to be a great fit for us here because he had some really good experience and some different background. Uh, he's very uh, creative. He still loves math. When we interviewed him, the whole team was like, oh, he's our guy because he shares a common vision about how great our students are and how his job is to help them to be as successful as possible. So I think he's a Trojan. I think we've won him over. We keep doing what he's always done. Um, he builds great relationships with students and uh, to keep doing that. Um, he's doing a nice job. Be the very best like no one ever was. <laughs> Okay. That's a Pokemon joke. Get it? I just want to be the best teacher I can be, help as many students be successful as I can. I love Central High School. The students are great. All the staff has been um, really helpful to me being new to the building. Um, the administrators have been really helpful to like help me get acclimated to everything that's going on. Well, I have a five month old daughter at home. She just turned five today, or five months today. Um, so that keeps me pretty busy. Um, and like I like playing video games. I have a dog that go on walks all the time. Um, but 
like I don't I don't do many other hobbies besides hang out with my daughter nowadays. So. From the Central welcomes Mr. Hall. I'm Sarah McManaman. In my opinion, he's an amazing teacher. Yeah, maybe he can help us with the ratio of the soccer game last Saturday afternoon. Our boys varsity soccer team took on West this Saturday. This was the first time ever Central and West met in district finals. The Trojans conceded two goals in the first half. After halftime is the back and forth second half with the Trojans stepping up the game, putting pressure on West. In the end, we were unable to score, with West walking away with a 3-0 shutout. Hopefully next time we meet, we'll get a Titan takedown. You might have noticed F building was very hard to get into last week. This was due because it was under tight security because Central had the honor of hosting Michigan Supreme Court. Front and Central, David Hoover was there. Hello everybody, I'm David Hoover reporting for Front and Central and today our school is embracing a very unique opportunity, a Michigan State Supreme Court hearing. The hearing is regarding the case of Maniaki versus Deeroff and it is migrating from the Michigan Hall of Justice in Lansing to our very own auditorium. Front and Central caught up with Justice McCormick to find out more. We like to bring the court out to local communities to show people how it is that we do our work. Um, and we love especially to go to high schools because high school students always have smart questions, thoughtful ideas, and we learn a lot just by interacting with the students. It's the first time the court's ever been to Traverse City, and so um, we were honored to be able to visit Traverse City here at your school. Um, and I hope that the students appreciated it because we sure did. The hearing was exactly what students and staff were hoping for insightful, educational, and interactive. We caught up with a student and a staff member to figure out what they thought. It was really cool to listen to the, both the plaintiff and the defendant analyze the law. I never thought I'd ever attend a, a court hearing, much less in my own high school, so I feel very lucky. I believe that this was the 25th case that the state Supreme Court argued in front of a, a public school and in a setting like this. And when you think of all the different schools that exist in the state of Michigan and that we had this opportunity, that alone is incredible. Not to mention the state Supreme Court hears cases relevant to all corners of Michigan. So the fact that they, they came here to Traverse City Central High School, you know, they worked very closely with our students. There was a sincerity with which they, they worked with us and they treated us that was incredible. What do you do when you're asked a question that you can't answer? Let's hear it. You take a breath and try to come up with the best answer you can. You can't not answer the question. Overall, this was a very unique opportunity for our school. Students and staff alike were able to embrace the hearing in a good way. I'm David Hoover with Front and Central. Everybody have a good weekend. The Supreme Court visit to Central was the 25th time that a Michigan Supreme Court session was held in a school. Hopefully everyone had a great experience. Man, I'm tired from this anchor stuff. I could sure use a cup of coffee. Then you should read the Black and Gold Quarterly. The first issue of the Black and Gold Quarterly hits the newsstand yesterday. The BGQ featured stories about Barden's Winter Freeze, Corporate Coffee vs. Local Coffee, the recent 8th Street construction, Chasta Buttigieg's visit to TC, plus lots of Trojan art. Be sure to pick up a copy today. If you have ever wanted to travel to Mexico, here's your chance. A global service trip to Guanajuato, Mexico is planned for June. You can sign up through October. The trip is open to all underclassmen. Sorry, seniors. Make sure to go to the next meeting on November 5th at 6.30 at TC West High School. Contact Kate Hansen at West High School for more information. Wow, I'd love to go on a trip to Mexico. Yeah, it sounds like a great opportunity. Hey, if you haven't heard, wrestling season is upon us. Anybody that's interested in joining, please attend the preseason informational meeting with Coach Funk during both lunches October 29th. They're looking for motivated students who want to be in the world's first Olympic sport. You'll learn valuable life skills. It doesn't matter what your skill level is. This is a no-cut sport. Practices start on November 18th after school. For all you AP students, your payments for the AP tests are due by the end of today. Payments can be accepted by Ms. Flaherty in the Olsen office. Hey, go. Don't you take AP classes? Yeah, I do. I should probably get on that ASAP. Well, that's a wrap for today's show. We'll feature basketball tryouts, another new face to central staff. We'll also have a recap of cross-country season. You'll get to look inside a spooky haunted house, and we'll give you yearbook updates. 
Have, Have a, a good day, day Central. Central. Really? <laughs>